she became a beacon of hope for thousands of women across the UK as she campaigned for her septin to be free on the NHS until her death two weeks ago. <coughs> Hundreds turned out to her funeral today to show their respect to a woman who considered life very precious and fought to prolong the lives of others. Dot's funeral was supposed to take place at Hearts Hill Church, but due to overwhelming support from friends and family, it's taking place here at Stoke Minster with a large capacity. She would do anything for anybody and um, she was always happy and uh, I don't think she'll ever be forgotten. Amazing. Wonderful, absolutely amazing, amazing yeah. person, yeah. Um, just full. Com made you feel completely at ease with her. Um, she was just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. We may not Absolutely. have been here today if it wasn't for Dot and the initial wonderful campaign. Woman. Without her, we wouldn't have got it. She was inspirational, a wonderful campaigner, and Staffordshire has lost a treasure today. As Lord Mayor, it's a privilege to have been able to meet her and to shake her hands. And privilege, really, that the work's gone on for a number of years, ten years, that she's worked tirelessly for all the ladies, not only in the city, but across the nation. Dot's fight against cancer may well be over, but her legacy and campaign to help others is far from it. Robert Trigg, Snaps Live, Stoke Minster.